and we are always prepared for cocktail time. <laughs> always. <laughs> That's why I put that one later down. I needed to remember to look at the bottom. Cheers, everybody. Welcome to another episode of Cocktail Hour. It's Friday. We hope you had a great week. And we are going to be doing a kind of a twofer today. So if you like what we do, make sure you hit that like and subscribe and share the channel. And we're doing another gin drink. So that's why we have two cocktail setups here, because you're going to do one and I'm going to do one, because there's only one variation. Yeah, one, just remove one ingredient. Add another. And flip right an ingredient. So let's start off with the base for them for um, the Daisy and the Gimlet, and that is two ounces of gin. Gin, okay. And you chose the aviation. <laughs> chose the aviation. So you're just going to put two in your. We bought this, so more people could try the aviation. And we're going through and it. And then we're going to end up going through it in just a few cocktail times. Yeah. <laughs> Again, we do like aviation just because of. It's a cool bottle. It's a cool bottle. It tastes good. It tastes good, isn't too badly affordable, and the person who owns the company is hilarious. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay, so two ounces of gin. And this time it's definitely two ounces. Is that two ounces? Yes. Okay. A little over. But... Okay. And then two ounces of mine. Okay, and then we are doing a three quarters of ounce of orange liqueur and we're choosing triple sec. You could do all sorts of orange liqueurs. You could do, um, is it Caraca orange? The blue Caraca? Who's doing the daisy and who's doing the gimlet? Well, we're doing the base. The orange isn't in the gimlet. Oh, I'll do the gimlet. Right. So, three quarter ounce orange liqueur. Must announce. And I'm doing the daisy. Mm -hmm. And we use triple sec. Which triple sec, yep. And then for the daisy, you're using lemon. Yes. And lemon. for the uh, gimlet, I'm doing lime. This is lime, right? Mm -hmm. And how much? Three quarters ounce? Yes, three quarter ounce lemon juice Ooh, for the, the cork gin daisy. Broke. You just do that on purpose, don't you? No, wait, you have to do that to get it out faster, otherwise you're gonna sit there. So three quarter ounce lemon juice for the gin daisy. <laughs> what? Snarky comments from the audience. Audience. <laughs> okay. You do that on purpose, don't you? Shake. <laughs> Make all that weird noises for no reason. Shake. Oh. Pour in a rock glass over ice. Do you believe you've forgotten something for the gimlet? I forgot the strainer. No, you forgot to go around simple syrup. Oh, I need simple syrup? Mm hmm. That's why I said when you made this part, it was confusing because you could find two very similar recipes but miss some things in there. So, so simple syrup. Oh, well, I am going to line this up. I would use the agave. Okay. Oh, it's gonna change the flavor because it's got agave in it. <clears throat> How much simple syrup? It's three quarter ounce simple syrup. So, the gin daisy is two ounces gin, three quarter ounce orange liqueur, three quarter ounce lemon juice, and then shake and stir, pour into the rock glass. And the gin gimlet is three quarter ounce gin, but then three quarter ounce uh, lime juice, and then three quarter ounce simple syrup. Okay. And then top with soda. Top with soda. So mine's gonna have a little bit of a spicy punch since I'm using the agave, mm -hmm. which actually sounds really good yeah it actually sounds like that might make that really so this is good. the gimlet 
gimlet with a change because there was no a, real a lime aroma to it. Just pretty neutral. This one has a little bit of orange flavor. Mine is, uh, it's mellow. It's refreshing. It's good, but it's mellow. The daisy's that way too. The lemon kind of stands out because lemon, but mm -hmm. the orange kind of comes through. I would see why this is called a gin daisy because it's kind of just. I, I think this is actually a dangerous drink because it's got two ounces of gin in it and it's so mellow you could be drinking this for hours. Oh, that's the way with all cocktail gin after cocktail drinks. Like we've done the gin fizz and so many others, gin and tonic. If you, that gin sneaks up on you. It's a full yeah. alcohol. It's not a liqueur. It's 42% alcohol on the aviation. So, yeah. If you've had the Gin Daisy or Gin Gimlet, which is your favorite, um, if you haven't had them and you try them, let us know in the um, comments what's your favorite gin to have with drinks. That's always something we do. Gunpowder we do. Bombay we do. Aviation we do. I do like gunpowder. I don't like Bombay by itself, but mm -hmm. I do see it's uses in cocktails for sure because it's spicy right to me the and a lot sapphire of the craft is spicy, spicy too yeah uh tell us uh any other changes or ingredients you might add to it any spices any bitters anything like that um this is a really good drink i haven't had yours yet but um tell us what you think make sure you check out all of our other videos monday through friday mondays are oddities non-whiskey alcohols Tuesday, Thursdays are alcohol or whiskey or whiskey, flavored whiskey episodes. Wednesdays are coffee and, of course, cocktails on Fridays. Make sure you check out Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and merchandise, and we will see you on Monday. Have a great weekend. Bye. And we are always prepared for cocktail time. <laughs> always.